I mentioned in a video a few weeks ago that I broke one of the NNNBC bindings on my S-Bound 98s. I'm halfway through the switch over to three pins and I wanted to do a comparison. All right, continuing to test out Fisher S-Bound 98s with NNNBC and Alpina Alaska, which is almost as good as it gets as far as stiffness and control while still preserving kick and glide on NNNBC. And then Garmont soft synthetic leather three pin boot. First things first, uh, the, the pin line is mounted a little forward with the uh, three pin compared to the NNNBC. And I wanted to see how much that's gonna make the back of the ski sink with each step. You can see in this image right here that the pins are about two centimeters ahead of the tow bar in the NNNBC binding. And this happened when I mounted the three pins using the forward hole left over from removing the NNNBC binding. When I actually put the boots on, the difference is a little smaller than two centimeters. The NNNBC bindings were mounted with the tow bar at the balance point of the ski. Theoretically, this optimizes kick and glide, but I don't mind having the pins a little forward of that to help with climbing and turn initiation. As you can see right here, the difference is pretty minor, and I don't think I'll be able to tell anything performance-wise. Right now I'm climbing. It's not steep enough for scale failure, but don't notice any particular difference. If there were to be any difference when climbing because of the slight difference in mounting position, it would be felt more in soft snow. This snow is firm, dust on crust, spring conditions. But in soft snow, a little bit of flotation would be taken from the front of the ski and added to the back, keeping the ski a little more level while climbing. The current couple of clips are intended to show what it's like kicking and gliding with these boots and these bindings in a couple of different conditions. Dust on crust, and then very crusty, icy springtime snow. Any potential differences created by boot, binding, or mounting position were too negligible to notice. It's safe to say that both of these boots and both of these bindings are just great when it comes to kick and glide, especially if you're using something like the S-Bounds, where you're not really concerned about having the highest performance on the flats. And now we feature the downhill comparisons. By the way, a number of the shots in this video were taken with what I'm calling the mouth mount, where I put my phone in my mouth so I can ski with my hands involved. The downside is that it forces me to be farsighted. I can't really see what's right under me. If moving a binding a little further forward improves turning initiation, what you sacrifice is flotation in front of the binding, and that increases the likelihood of tip dive when going downhill. It's not anything I can really test out in these firm conditions, though. The astute expert in telemark turns will note that these are not exactly telemark turns that I'm doing here. That's because of the firm conditions. The skis want to go a million miles an hour with less than ideal control. And when that's the case, I tend to turn the tips inward and do a little bit of a stem, pizza, or plow. Still, regardless of conditions, I'm having fun, and these boots and bindings are getting me downhill. I've seen it said on telemarktalk.com that the biggest difference in your downhill performance is probably going to come from your boots, not your bindings. If you're comparing an NBC to three pin 75 millimeter duck bill, my experience on this particular day lives up to that. Also note that whether I'm doing my mouth mount or handheld, I still can't seem to frame a shot correctly. There we go, that's better.
that's part of Dillon Reservoir down there. Gotta love still ski in the valleys even in April in a subpar snow year. It's common knowledge in the cross-country downhill world that three-pin bindings offer greater diversity in boot type. You can get all the way up to rigid plastic boots. And so the following day, I wanted to come out and test out leather, stiffer leather boots against the Alpina Alaskas. But first, watch me eat it as I'm skiing blind with my mouth mount. Yep, that's my phone getting spat into the snow. And here you can see the two boots I'll be comparing next. This I did while on an outing with the family, so stay tuned if you enjoy scenes of my baby being cute. How you doing back there, baby? Mama cheese. Summit County cheese. It's April 2nd. There are all these little black flies in the snow. Don't know if you can see them. You might also be able to see. This snow is wonderful. All American staple crop corn. There's Gray's and Tory's peaks. And let's see what we got. Oh, a little info. Today, I'm trying out the Alpena Alaska in an NBC versus a stiffer leather boot, thicker sole, thicker duck bill. Hopefully a little more control. Woo! I gotta say, in these ideal corn conditions, I don't think it mattered what boot or binding I was gonna be wearing. Either way, it would be great skiing. However, I do think the stiffer leather boot will give me a little extra confidence when conditions are iffy. I definitely didn't mind the feel of the kick and glide in these leather boots either. Overall, I'd say I've upgraded my S-Bound 98s by having the option of going to stiff leather. Who's that? Oh, that's Mama and Baby Cheese. Yeah, Maggie Lou. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Baby. <laughs> Gotta get some skis on. It's a lot more efficient. <laughs> give you the same flotation. Come on, come get mama. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Papa, papa, papa. Yes, papa. papa. Oops. Papa, bird. Put it in. 
Thank Good you. Good job. Snow. You got it. Oh, bird. You're such a nerd, baby. Skiing with a crying baby. For the most part, she's a really good sport. But everything we put her through takes it like a champ. Daddy's girl. And a delightful cheese. The moral of the story in this video is that if you're a budget-minded skier, it doesn't really matter if you go a 3-pin or NNNBC. Maybe just choose whatever you find a good deal on and get a boot that's comfortable and stiff enough. Whatever allows you to get out there. Happy skiing.